Have you ever wondered why billionaires like Warren Buffett choose to live in the same old house they bought before they got filthy rich? Or why some of the wealthiest people are rarely seen flaunting flashy cars or the latest designer brands? You'd think with all those zeros in their bank accounts, they'd be the first to splurge, right? But here's a little secret. Getting rich isn't the same as staying rich. And often it's the things you choose not to buy that contribute to long-term wealth. Today, we're unveiling seven things the rich never buy. So buckle up as we dive into the surprising spending strategies of the wealthy, revealing the everyday items they skip that remarkably keep their fortunes intact. Welcome to Blue Chip Mindset, the winning mindset for success. If you enjoy the video or learn something new, please give it a like. 1. Cheap Furniture We've all experienced that infamous IKEA moment, haven't we? You dedicate hours to selecting the ideal piece, haul it all the way home, and then find yourself grappling with instructions that seem to defy logic, as if a third grader scribbled them during recess. After four painstaking hours spent navigating through the 200 tiny pieces of hardware included, you've reached the moment of truth. It stands. Yet, alas, even the slightest nudge causes your new creation to shudder and quiver like a bowl of jello. This experience is almost a rite of passage, tempting us to opt for these budget-friendly yet frustrating options, especially when furnishing our first place. However, the wealthy don't play this game of furniture roulette. They take a different route, investing in quality that isn't just about surviving assembly, but also about lasting for decades. Here's the deal. Buying a piece of furniture that lasts 20 years isn't just easier on your nerves. It's also cheaper in the long run than purchasing four or five that barely make it through the warranty. 2. New Cars Picture this. You just signed the papers for a brand new car, feeling the thrill of ownership and sucking in that new car smell. But as you drive off the lot, your new car's value instantly plunges by 10%. And if that isn't disheartening enough, after owning your car for an entire year, it will have depreciated by 20%. Wealthy folks like cars, sure, but they know a car isn't an investment, it's a depreciating asset. Many prefer buying a quality used car where someone else has already taken the initial depreciation hit. This savvy approach is less about the glamour of a new car and more about smart financial planning. In fact, research detailed in Chris Hoven's book Everyday Millionaires based on the habits of 10,000 millionaires reveals that the average millionaire drives a four-year-old car with 41,000 miles on it. This statistic underscores a deeper understanding of value versus cost. Wealthy individuals often opt for practicality and long-term financial sense over the fleeting excitement of a new purchase. They are adept at evaluating the long-term implications of their expenditures, ensuring their choices align with their broader financial strategies. It's all about understanding the actual value, not just the price tag. 3. Risky Investments while movies often dramatize investing with high-stakes gambling and instant wealth, the strategies of the affluent are typically more reserved. They shy away from the gamble of high-risk investments like pouring their life savings into crypto meme coins or jumping on speculative stock trends, favoring the consistent and calculated approach reminiscent of the tortoise rather than the hare in the classic race. Why? Sustainable wealth building is a product of disciplined gains and strategic patience, not a game of chance through risky investments. Though it lacks Hollywood's flashiness, this method is the bedrock of enduring financial growth. Wealthy people are careful with their money. They spread their investments across different areas, strengthening their financial standing even if markets shake. They make these smart moves by understanding the market, not just chasing fast cash. They focus on steady progress, preferring to see their money grow over time rather than risking it all for the excitement of a big risky win. 4. Non-assets These items represent sneaky money drains. They don't generate income or increase in value. Think of new iPhones, shoes, or big screen TVs. These financial sinkholes are silent wealth killers slowly and steadily draining resources. The affluent avoid falling for these traps. They understand the difference between these non-assets and actual investments like real estate, stocks, or businesses. Their buying choices focus on accumulating value, which is fundamental to their strategy for building enduring wealth. When they make a purchase, they're not just thinking about the present gratification it might bring. They're pondering the future. Will this appreciate over time? Could it generate income? This kind of forward thinking isn't just a practice, but a lifestyle. If the answer leans towards no, they'll likely skip it without a second thought, avoiding the financial quicksand that non-assets often represent. This approach actively protects their economic growth from short-lived pleasures. Before we move on, if you're enjoying the video so far, please tap that like button as it helps get this info out to more people like you and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you aboard. 5. Timeshares Timeshares might seem like a clever solution for vacation enthusiasts, tempting you with a piece of paradise that's supposedly yours. But let's dig into the reality. They're often not the best financial move. Take, for instance, a timeshare in a popular beachfront resort. At first glance, owning a week here each year sounds dreamy. But here's what happens. 
You're not just buying vacation time, but also signing up for hefty annual maintenance fees that can rise unpredictably. Moreover, your ability to use the timeshare is locked into specific, often inconvenient, weeks of the year. And if your plans change or you can't make it, well, you're out of luck unless you can swap out your slot, which involves additional fees and hassles. Then, should you decide to sell your timeshare down the line, you'll likely find a market flooded with more sellers than buyers, making it hard to even recoup your initial investment. It's no surprise that the wealthy tend to avoid these entirely. They're looking for flexibility and control with a nice return on their investment to boot. Instead of chaining themselves to a single property with all sorts of hidden costs, the financially savvy go for auctions that actually grow in value and offer real benefits. They might invest in diverse real estate projects like a commercial building or a set of rental properties or spread their bets across a broad investment portfolio. These kinds of investments let them stay nimble, adjusting their assets to suit market conditions and their own needs. Think about it this way. Rather than sinking money into a timeshare, imagine putting that same cash into a vacation rental property in an up-and-coming neighborhood. Not only do you get the potential for appreciation, but you also earn rental income when you're not using it yourself. This approach not only enhances your financial flexibility, but also provides a practical use of the property that can be enjoyed personally or turned into a profitable venture. Plus, this strategy offers a tangible way to experience the perks of ownership without the burdens of timeshare limitations, blending lifestyle and joining the savvy investment tactics. Sticks, designer goods just for show. You might assume that the ultra-wealthy splurge on fancy items purely for show, right? Well, there's more to the story. These folks aren't just throwing money around for the sake of appearances. They're actually all about quality over flashiness. They go for well-made, durable, and valuable goods that stand the test of time rather than just looking good for a season. And it's not just about loving luxury, it's smart shopping. They're not dazzled by big brand names. They're hunting for real value and enduring quality. They dive deep into market research to ensure their buys are sound, reflecting a sharp understanding of what holds value. Their buying choices are part of a bigger picture, a clever approach to managing their wealth that focuses on sustainability and wise investments. By picking items that last, they turn their spending into investments. This savvy approach helps them keep and build their wealth, proving they know a thing or two about managing money to fit their lifestyle and values. It's all about making thoughtful choices that show a keen sense of both style and financial smarts. 7. Unused Gym Memberships It sounds oddly specific, doesn't it? But it represents a larger theme, value for money. Wealthy people don't pay for things they don't use, regardless of how small the expense might seem. This principle extends to gym memberships they rarely use, seen as a double loss with wasted funds and lost health benefits. They recognize that these lingering expenses represent neglected opportunities, not just in financial terms, but in the failure to capitalize on personal health and well-being. Whether it's a gym membership, a streaming service, or a magazine subscription, they understand that unused services are just money down the drain. Therefore, they meticulously audit their expenditures, trimming the fat and ensuring they derive value from each expense. They put their money where their interests and passions lie, not in forgotten subscriptions or neglected memberships, ensuring every dollar spent serves a purpose and contributes to their broader life goals. The secret to sustaining wealth lies not just in earnings, but in savings and intelligent spending. The wealthy navigate through life with a different perspective on money, seeing beyond immediate pleasure and convenience and focusing instead on long-term value and growth. By understanding and adopting these principles, you too can start on a path toward financial stability and wealth preservation. It's all about the intelligent allocation of resources. Just like they wouldn't keep a car they never drive, the same goes for any other type of overhead. They are highly strategic about their personal and business finances, frequently reviewing and adjusting their budgets to reflect their actual usage and needs. This proactive approach not only minimizes wastage, but also enhances their ability to invest in opportunities that promise greater returns. They understand that every small saving adds up and avoiding unnecessary expenditures allows them to allocate more resources to investments that compound wealth over time. This financial discipline is key to their ability to effectively maintain and grow their fortune. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications.